Is painting furniture really an art? Well, this video is a true story. My husband Ryan and I have not traveled since the pandemic, so it's been over three years since we've actually gone anywhere. So we decided to take a vacation. We also love to DIY. Back in 2009, I found a whole bunch of books and I absolutely couldn't wait to try them. By the time 2014 came around, I decided to try it out for myself. And that's where I continue my story. We live on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I was so excited and honored to be invited to Temecula, California to actually be a host in an event all about DIY. So Brian, I and Hatley hit the road. The entire drive was calculated to be at least 22 hours, but of course we were going to stop and we really wanted to join into a vacation and make it as fun as possible. And that's exactly what we did. We even calculated we might even have a little bit of some weather problems as it's been a little bit colder at this time of year than it should be. So we made sure to give ourselves plenty of time just in case we needed to stop for longer as there was warnings of flash floods and evacuations. Because we were doing the coast drive along the Oregon coastline all the way into California, we also had to be careful about possible freezing rain and other snowfall. But I love to DIY and just like you, I have to work with what I have and I love to upcycle. So taking this trip to California, I was super excited and I was excited for so many reasons on so many levels. I have met so many incredible people online in the last four years, but I've never actually face-to-face -face met them. So our first major stop was actually going to be just past San Jose, and we wanted to actually go to Pismo Beach. So we stayed at a really amazing place, and of course we needed dog friendly. Hatley approved. We also had to keep the eye on the weather because it was actually raining really bad in Southern California. I really loved Pismo Beach and the entire community around Pismo Beach. It was so calming, relaxing. We decided to kick back for two days and enjoy even with the overcast. Even with the unpredictable weather, we made the best of it. We had a blast. We had breakfast, then we had lunch, and we spent all day outside, even with a little bit of rain that was still occurring. And we really thought everything was gonna be fine, and then we were gonna head out in the next two days to head down to Temecula, California. I have DIY'd my whole life, and you know what? Just like yourself, I just like to play with it. And I fail consistently. But I keep at it and I love to share my convictions with my YouTube channel. Sometimes I love what I've made and sometimes I don't. But it's the fun of pursuing it that has driven me to where I've gotten today. I know a lot of people online want to make money off of products and I think that's perfectly normal. If they love the product and the product's going to give them money for soliciting onto their channels or their social media, fantastic. But in my situation, I'm not an ambassador for anybody. I'm an ambassador of me. And it's also because I don't really think I'm ambassador quality. I just like to play, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. We had a huge warning pop up on our phone and the flash floods were gonna get bad and they asked that if you can evacuate, you might wanna leave. So we did, a day early. I've always, always had such admiration for Annie Sloan, and it's because I have enjoyed her books, I have enjoyed everything that she represents when it comes to a DIY, and it also introduced me to painting my furniture. So back in 2014, I decided to actually pick up a can and see what I could do. Ryan and I had to drive all night long to go from Pismo Beach to Temecula, California so we could beat this rain. And it was bad. It was really difficult to see. It was really difficult to transport around and we didn't know when it was gonna stop at this point. And we were on a deadline. Not having a lot of money and having bought my first home, I wanted to furnish it. So I took the chance of actually painting my furniture. 
and to my dismay, I loved it. I could thrift a piece of furniture that fit the size of the room and for the occupation I needed it for, and I could also paint it into the way I wanted it. From that moment on, I was determined that if I wanted something to look something I wanted, I had to make it myself. And this is where the love of DIY exploded for me. Ryan and I were invited to an event in Temecula, California, as well as a co-event host with Cash of Furniture. And I was over the moon excited. I got to meet people I have spoken to online for a long time and meeting their energy in person was absolutely surreal. We all can join together, Kasha and myself and the Redesign with Prima team all pulled together and planned this whole event over several weeks, actually a few months. And we really wanted everybody who was coming to this event to have an amazing time. But there was a few things I wasn't expecting when I came to this event. The amount of energy that came with people who came to join this event, even just to help, was incredible. With Aida and her husband Chris, with Tanya, and it just went on and on and on. Everybody pulled together, everybody was there for all the little things, and just thinking outside the box to make sure everything ran really smoothly. I was beside myself how amazing some of these people are. Spending most of my days alone and spending a lot of time doing what I do by myself. When I met Kesha about four years ago, I couldn't believe how well I just connected with her. And then it really became everything else but we're actually doing online. It was just about two people who really had a lot in common, who just became good friends because they want to. The most surreal about this entire experience, vacation and event, was just actually physically being in the presence with others and for the same love that brought us together. Being around all these people who I otherwise would only be speaking to via a phone or online, I can't tell you how much it meant to me to actually be in presence with them and enjoy them for the people that I know that they are. Hardworking, loyal, respectful, and most of all, an absolute blast. We worked so hard to make sure everything was perfect, including all the team at the Redesign with Prima store. It was nonstop and it was exhilarating. I absolutely loved it. Then the moment came true is to meeting people who actually purchased a ticket to come and join us. It was surreal. The redesign with Prima store and all their team, amazing. And Kasha and I all wanted to make this uniquely special for the people that joined us. And it's exactly what happened. And I had an absolutely amazing time coming off camera and coming in person. And all I wanted to do was hug everybody and listen to where they've come from and what they've been working on. And just knowing that I even remotely gave them a little inclination of giving it a try, it just brought tears to my eyes. And of course, meeting Annie Sloan, the woman who I picked up a book in 2009 and who I have absolutely admired for all her convictions of moving forward and you know what, if you want something, you can make it yourself. And I stand by that. From all the techniques I study through her books and even having an opportunity to meet people through Annie Sloan, like Jonathan Mark Mendez, has absolutely accelerated my love for continuing forward and moving forward to what I wanted to create, learn, and do. And that brought me to Kesha. And from there, it brought me to so many other people. And I can't tell you enough that this was beyond a vacation I could ever imagine. You don't know the people that you'll meet. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. But all I can say from my experience is, believe in yourself, move forward, and the people 
that are like you will come to you. When I met Palm and her sister Tammy, who are owners of the Redesign with Prima and Prima Marketing, I was absolutely blown away. They treated me like family. Honestly, what they did for me and how they just made me feel so incredibly welcomed, it was just unbelievable. And for the team that they have that have been together for almost two decades, treated me as if I was one of them. And for that, it was absolutely magical. This whole event was more than I could have imagined. It was better than what I absolutely could think of the best case scenario. But from the bottom of my heart, the thing that made me cry at the end of both days was all the people that came. The energy, the enthusiasm, and the love that everybody brought was that of absolute forever memories. I felt like a kid who has never been to Disneyland and I was in my Disneyland. Palm and her team made us feel like we have been family for years. They opened their door to their home, their property, showed us around, educated us, and for that, I can't wait to see them again. I couldn't help from falling in love with the entire team for all that they did for us. This was only the beginning of the trip. Kasha and I worked night and day, and the Prima team. What are you guys doing here? Oh, oh my goodness, what a pretty baby. He's disturbing his sleep. He's oh, sleep. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to leave you in peace. At this point in my trip, something really turned. I came to an epiphany to understand that sometimes people are either beside you 100%, behind you 100%, and sometimes in front of you 100%. When we got our warning notice that the flash floods were getting really bad and we had to leave a night early, Palm and her amazing team offered us a home to stay at, food to eat, and most of all, a real friendship. And this is from people I've never met in person. And also, the amazing energy that came from Kasha, her husband, and their team with Frankie was just surreal. These people weren't just friends online, or even friends that we met in person. They really became a part of our family. This wasn't just a vacation, or a chalk paint workshop, or a DIY adventure. This ended up becoming a real life after school special. Everybody pulled together. And sometimes when people pull together, it sometimes is for different reasons. But in my heart, I know that everybody that pulled through and everybody who came to actually help us and was there to motivate and to inspire and to be there, it was just surreal. And for that, I am so grateful. And as I say, memories are forever. And for that, I am so grateful. And it only led me to understand that art is in your heart. And the person that taught me that, it wasn't Annie Sloan, it was Kasha. Listen to your art. That's the first thing I remember when I first met her online. And from her, I met so many other amazing people and people I can't wait to meet in person. I sometimes can't believe how long I've known some of these people and how long I've waited to actually meet them in person. And all I can say is, real friends are gifts. So the storms had stopped, the clouds were moving away, and the sun was coming out. And we decided to all rejoice and actually have an incredible time hanging out and taking friendships to whole new levels. It was so thankful that this redesign with Prima actually made this happen. And it only defined to me that some people and some companies are about quality, not quantity. It's about bringing people together and energy together for the right reasons. It's about helping each other and supporting each other 
not for your own personal gain. It's about coming together, supporting each other, and actually really being there for other people. And from what we all took from this entire event, what Ryan and I took from this vacation will never be forgotten. From all the people that actually put in to this event, helping, cleaning, supporting, making sure we had food, and for Chris, for even helping taking care of Hatley while Ryan and I had to run around. Nobody had a specific job, but those that wanted to be there because they really wanted to support made this unforgettable. People bought tickets to come to this event so they could learn and have hands-on experience with chalk paint and DIY products. But you know who learned the most? Me. I learned that there is actually people that put themselves out there and will actually put themselves out there for you even before themselves. With all I took back from this journey to Temecula, California and this amazing company with Redesign with Prima and all the people that came for the right reasons, I can honestly say I can't thank you enough and it is about redesign, recreate, and recycle. And this event really opened my eyes to a lot of things. It's not just about making money. It's about how we can save money by using our imaginations and explore and find the right people who want to adventure with you on creating what it is you want to make and how you want to make it and supporting people for what they love and they support you for what you love. This event gave me an opportunity to meet subscribers that I have communicated with for a long time and to meet them in person was such an incredible honor. The amount of inspiration I took from this entire journey was absolutely surreal. It's not just about the products, it's about the people behind the products. It's also about the people that create with the products and how they create their own immunity together and actually enrich each other. It was really surreal and it's definitely an adventure I'm never gonna forget. I'm always gonna be grateful for Annie, for her books, for everything that I've learned through all her convictions, as well as her love of creating. But being introduced to a whole different side of things, even before I ever picked up a chalk paint product, what I was able to take away from this event and the positive energy only solidifies to me how much more I have to learn, and I can't wait. Thanks to my best friend and my husband, who's always stood by my side and has always lifted me up when I'm down. I know in my heart is sometimes my number one fan, and for that, I'm so grateful. But the people that I met on this trip, how surreal, how unbelievably caring and how I felt like family at a table for not actually knowing them in person. This was the best vacation. And for some companies and even some people, this wouldn't be considered a vacation. This would be considered about business. This would be considered about money. And you know what? Not with this team not with the people that I met here. It wasn't about that. It was really about creativity. And I am so completely grateful for everybody that I met that came to be exactly what I thought they would be. Helpful, caring, understanding, supportive, and most of all, creative. Not for themselves, but for the people around them. Helping me with the little details, helping Kasha with the little details, 
having a team pulled together for all the people that came to this event, it was surreal. And to be side by side for those that have worked so hard and have learned so much and to sit down with them and work at this event was absolutely unforgettable. There's always one saying I've always lived by, never believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. And for what I saw from this vacation, workshop, and people I had the privilege to meet face to face is some people really actually value what they're doing for other people. And some people value what they're doing for themselves. And one can be right and one can be wrong, but I know in my heart that I'm in it because I love to do what I do. I love to grow and I brace my mistakes and I wanna share anything that I can because my mom told me a long, long time ago that sometimes, Christina, the simplest saying will help you get through hard times. And she said to me once, Elvis Presley failed music class. Now, if that doesn't tell you that anything you try is okay to fail in order to be successful, I don't know what will. But all I can say is I had an amazing time. And from what I've taken from this, meeting the people that I have, and understanding the true value behind people, I can't wait to DIY my heart out. I have so many incredible ideas and my mind is just running on overload. And it also taught me something that I do wrong. I sometimes start with creativity and then I think I can perfect it. So I'll keep going back to the same ideas. I sometimes even go back to think that I'm kind of reinventing the wheel when in fact I am just actually being negative in my own mind. No, it could be better. No, I could do this better. I'll do it again and I'll do it again. But what I fail to realize about myself is sometimes when you're failing and when you're doing something, it's part of that process. And you know what? You can do it a thousand times, but at the end, enjoy what you're doing. There's always going to be a roadblock, even when you're traveling. There are ways to step out of that creative rut. And one of the best things that you can do is try and allow yourself to fail. That's okay. What I have concluded through this entire journey and this two week trip that we took is furniture, painting, and art. And I would have to concur, yes. Everything is about what you want. And if you want change, you can make that whether it's with your furniture, your home decor, your hair, what you eat, what you like to wear. But what I've really learned from this trip is the people that you can connect with and the value of what they bring to you. And if it's through furniture paint, if it's through DIY, there are some amazing people out there that can make what was an event an absolutely unforgettable vacation. And going forward, I just love to play with ideas and create new ideas and repeat old ideas so that way I can learn from my mistakes and how I can make it better. And my favorite part about it all is to share. So if you find a piece of furniture that's a beautiful wood and you want to restore it, that's an art. If you find a piece of furniture that suits your home based on its physics and it's what it's going to do for the space, perfect. Then colorize it or add details to it that fit your style. It's so endless and it's a lot of fun, but it's yours just like what you choose to do with a lot of things in your life. It's yours to do. And I love sharing all kinds of fun ideas. 
And this journey really solidified for me that the people I have known for a long time really shined through who they really are in so many ways. And going forward, I know what direction I need to be in. And I'm truly grateful for the fact that the bonus to the whole thing was the people I thought were awesome. They'll always be like family to me. Being creative with other people who are like-minded like myself, who are driven like myself, and who were there having an amazing time with me. I am so grateful for every one of you. And we decided to go back to the hotel that we had to leave at the beginning of our journey because of the floods. And I have to say, it's an amazing hotel. Oxford Suites, and it's Hatley friendly. And he loved it. It's beautiful. It's quaint, it's right near the beach, it's easy access, and the hospitality was fantastic. I mean, we are in California, we are in wine country, we're not gonna lie, we definitely had our fair share of wine. I have also had the privilege of meeting tons of people online, and I think that's what's also accelerated my drive to continue my journeys online with my YouTube channel, and other plans that I have. My good friend Chris has agreed to work on our team so this way I can create more content with you to help me with my edits. I will attempt to walk 130 kilometers in three days to Pattaya. It's gonna be me versus me. Well, versus dogs, floods, mosquitoes, heat, mud, barbed wire, electric cables, traffic, whatever the hell these things are, and even finding a bloody toilet. I've known Chris for a few years and he is an amazing digital creator and has agreed to work with us as a team so this way I can create tons more DIYs and have a little less workload on the other side. So we stopped by Hobby Lobby and of course we had to stop by the big chunky yarns and we actually had a blast in here. We were just on this constant venture of what can we create. So this was a holiday to remember and an adventure I'll never forget. And Hatley definitely made friends along the way too. I am so looking forward to doing more events and being with the right people and knowing that it's about the event itself. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. We have driven the California coastline from BC, Canada probably about four or five times now, and I can't wait to do it again. And Hatley definitely wants to go on the hotel adventures. He was loving to be spoiled to no end, and he definitely met some lifelong friends. I've learned so much on this trip, and I've also learned that I have a lot to learn, and that's okay. Life is a journey, it's not a destination. And the fun part of why I even love to DIY is because there's always something new to try. And that's what I love to do. And I also love to share that so other people can feel inspired. And I will always stand by that. This will never be a paid sponsor. This will never be about what a company wants. This will be about what I want. And it should be exactly what you want what you want to make and how you want to make it. I'm just here to give you some inspiration and I love every minute of it. I have to admit, generally when I travel from my memory before the pandemic, I was always a little excited about going home. On this particular trip on our last night, the next morning, I was actually a little bit sad because sometimes when you really connect with people, you hold them close to your heart and you passionately look forward to seeing them again. We grabbed the ferry at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning to return back to Vancouver Island. The sun was shining, we were laughing, we were just going through the whole memory of what we experienced for two weeks and it was pretty surreal. We had an incredible vacation 
It was an amazing event, and it was one that I was honored to be part of. I will miss the energy around me, but I know it's real, and I can't wait to get more DIYs on the way. We have this brand new house that needs a lot of character and love, and I can't wait to take you on that journey. And I can't wait to introduce you to our newest family member coming next week. I'm looking forward to DIYing this brand new house. I'm looking forward to our newest family member. I'm looking forward to more events coming in the future. And I'm looking so forward to sharing everything I can with you. And thank you for letting me share a little part of me with you. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. Until then, take care.